Um, hi, welcome to VectorWorks Navigation and Introduction. And um, we're just going to talk about our tool palettes a little bit and some basic navigation. So let's just jump right in. All right, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is going to be the, our tool palettes that are arranged around the side. Inevitably, you will accidentally click a little X that closes a tool palette, right? If you see the X in the corner of each one of the tool palettes, you could close them. I could even close object info. If I were to accidentally close my basic tool palette, which is right here, it goes away. I need that basic tool palette for almost everything. It is the fundamental drawing resource for the entire program. Now I've closed it. Oh no, what do I do? The way to recover a tool palette is to go to Window and Palettes, which is the very first option, and you will see a list. Everything that is currently checked there is the snapping palette, and you'll see just to the right of that is the snapping palette on screen, and I will say no. Um, and attributes is right there. The resource manager is here, and look, here is my basic. And if I click back on the basic, my tool palette is recovered. Okay, tools. Tools are essential, right? I mean, they're essential to everything that we're going to build and use. There is always a tool selected. There is never a time in Vectorworks where a tool is not selected. The most common tool is the pointer tool which you see on screen right now which is that little arrow. That tool is, is selected right right up here. It's the very first tool in the basic tool palette is the pointer. It is always selected. Okay. There are a bunch of other tools here and we'll start going through them. The one right next to it is a navigation tool. It's the little hand and you should be familiar with that. By now clicking I can now drag around the drawing file, right? It's a pan tool, right? So it allows me to click and drag to where I want and release and click and drag to where I want. To go back to the pointer tool, I just need to click on the pointer tool and now that's back at my pointer and selection tool. There are other ways to be able to pan around a drawing <clears throat> and to zoom around a drawing. I use a mouse. I love a mouse. I will be teaching and interacting with you um, using a mouse. Many of my students are much more adept at using a trackpad, and a trackpad has several options as well. But let me talk to you about a mouse, and then I'll try and tag in the trackpad. If you roll your zoom wheel or your scroll wheel, right, I zoom in and out, and I can see that up here on my measurement bar. That's two, two and a half inches, and that's three inches. And if I zoom in more, it gets bigger. And if I keep rolling that mouse wheel, I keep zooming in. The, conversely, if I scroll my mouse wheel the other way, I zoom out. Now, on a trackpad, I believe that it uses two fingers. What I would like you to do for if you're a trackpad person is to go ahead and start getting used to your navigation. It's a combination of two fingers, and on a Mac, it might even be three fingers and it's how you slide those fingers that will control your zoom and I believe you have pan options. I am almost certain that if I press my alt key no, alt key doesn't work. Sometimes there is a, 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 a keyboard key that you press in combination with something that will change how you zoom. But for right now I'm just going to go with my scroll wheel on my mouse to be able to zoom out. The interesting thing is that you will zoom into or away from wherever your pointer is. I don't have any objects drawn, so it might be a little difficult to show, but that is your zoom. There are other ways to be able to zoom around a page or to expand. There are times where you may get lost in your drawing space and not know where you are. In your view bar, you have several zooming options. One is fit to the page area. And if I click here, it will zoom me out and it will show this gray border which is actually the page. This is the piece of paper that I'm drawing on. 
I also have a fit to object, right? So if I click on an object, it will fill the screen as much as possible with whatever object I might want to work on. Then I also have zoom in and zoom out, right? So here if I click, just click it, I will zoom in and if I click it again, I'll zoom in more and I keep zooming in and my little grid will show up here in a minute and there's my little grid. If I hold the Alt key and click that, I will zoom out. Zoom out, I'll go again and then one more or two more I should see my page. Zoom out, there it is, I see it. And there's my page again, right? So. If you hover over it, it'll give you tips. It'll say zoom in, you know, if you click with your left mouse key. And if you hold the Alt key, it um, zooms out. So that's basic navigation and ways that you can get around your drawing. And I will pause this here.